alarm must have been set. I'm not afraid of Jason. Look at me. <laughs> I'm fucking Oh my Jason. God. Look at him, dude. He just hey, fucking hey, mask off. Hey, he just mask off. Hey, 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 Keep that hey, fucking mask on, Jason. I'm fucking, asshole. You're gonna fucking wrap his balls. I'm gonna fucking raw dog him in the mask off. I got your butt pussy. So Take it. Oh. Just fuck you, Jason. Fucking Who son. are you two fags fucking? Just Jason Voorhees. What the hell? <laughs> Well, I'm out. Chang, Chang, we've got to control the situation. Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, you need to stop. I'm controlling the situation. You need to give me your ass. Help. Come on. You need to go. Come on. I will control the situation. Chang, help. Get out of here. 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 Get out you guys seem like two classy ladies. Okay, so let's handle this like adults. Yes. What is your name? Precious. She ain't that precious. What is your real name? Precious. Yeah, but like when you were born, what did your... Not your gang name or your stripper name. Yeah. Precious. Ma'am, for the last time, what is your name? It's Precious. Precious. Well, it was a very pretty right. name. Okay. That's that whole time we thought it was a very pretty name. So Precious, great name. Why don't you tell us what's going on here? Yeah, I'll tell you what's going on. She's trying to get my man behind my back. I ain't trying shit. Her man be texting me. Oh, hell no, you a lying ass freak. Why am I? Call me a bitch again, bitch, and see what happens. Just just don't call her a bitch again, okay? Here's what we're going to do. Give me Wait, phone. Just yo, what you do? Stop, stop. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. Stop it, we're cops. Act like it. I will be reading the part of DeAndre, the man in question. Jaquanda. Jaquanda. You read Jaquanda. I'm not going to do that. Ja what are you doing? Well, why do you get to read the boy? Justin. What are you doing? <sighs> Eating soup. Trying to lose some weight and stuff. And I did. Girl, you ain't got to lose shit. Thank you. Because you fine as wine. Look, DeAndre. Don't be texting me again, okay? You see? Unless you want to get them nuts up in my guts. Oh, oh that's it! Oh, no. That's it! Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Big Pine? I mean Big Wine? You saw that bud? 
That's old son of Well, give me the rest. Somebody want a couple 20s around the corner. Nah, <laughs> this bullshit. You know I sold that shit. You count on my money. Huh? Don't you see we handling grown folks' business? Damn. No, shut the hell up. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Wait a That's $100. Stop playing with me, Smokey. I'm Anita Horgar. Buck Melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. Not her wart. Not her wart. I'm I'm the wart. She's my tumor. My my growth. My uh, my pimple. I'm Uncle Wart. Just old Buck Wart Russell. That's what they call me. Or uh, melanoma head. They'll call me that. Melanoma head's coming. I'm sorry, uncle. Maisie Russell's uncle. I'm her uncle. <laughs> her, uh, her mother uh, set up this conference with you. I'm assistant principal here, as you've probably noticed from the indications on the door. This door? You the mean outer door. The outer door. Yes. Because there's nothing on this one. <laughs> That's just about enough of that. Sorry. I've been an educator for 31.3 years, and in that time, I've seen a lot of bad eggs. I say eggs because at the elementary level, we are not dealing with fully developed individuals. I see a bad egg when I look at your niece. She is a twiddler. A dreamer, a silly heart. She is a jabber box. And frankly, I don't think she takes a thing in her life or her career as a student seriously. She's only six. That is not a valid excuse. I hear that every day and I dismiss it. I don't think I want to know a six year old who isn't a dreamer or a silly heart. And I sure don't want to know one who takes their student career seriously. I don't have a college degree. I don't even have a job. <laughs> but I know a good kid when I see one. Because they're all good kids. Until dried out, brain dead skags like you drag them down and convince them they're no good. You so much as scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school and I hear about it and I'm coming looking for you. Uh -huh. Take this quarter. Go downtown and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. Good day to you, madam. Yeah, the shoulders up, yeah. Take a good deep breath. Suck it in, that's good. OK, now look, now. In this scene, you're hurting inside. You're hurting inside. You're not sure who to trust. You want to run. You want to run into the arms of your beloved. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi. Hi. How are you? So when I yell action, you are going to run from point A over there to point B over here. Ah, that seems kind of hard. Well, you know, think of it as an errand. Your errand is to run across the freeway until I yell cut. Oh, I get it. But does that seem a little dangerous, though? <laughs> no, 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 no. We have professional stuntmen doing the driving, so you'll be completely safe. Oh, professional stuntman. That's how they do it. I was wondering how they did that. Stunt drivers. Okay, you ready to do one? Sure, they're going really fast.
was so great. Awesome. You were fantastic. You were great. It was great. 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 Congratulations. It was so good. I don't want to do this anymore. What are you talking about? I don't want to do it. I just want to run Aaron. Heavenly God. Heavenly God. What are you talking about? Not many people can do what you just did. The stunt drivers were really impressed. Weren't they? Uh, really? Now, guess what? We got an errand we want you to do. Really? We want you to go to Starbucks. Oh, I do. Get I, coffee for everybody. A really complicated I order. Love it, dude. I would love to just go get some coffee. And you're the only person who can do it. Yes, I want to get some coffee now. OK, but first, let's do this one more time. Really good. Now, oh. Oh. why did you kiss my ear? Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. Ah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Last week? Yeah, hell of a game, hell of a game. Bears got a great team this year. They're gonna go all the way. Oh, yeah! Socks out of the sink if you're gonna brush your teeth, all right? Mr. Falk! <clears throat> Do you know my client, Samantha Cole? Yes. Isn't it true that your relationship with my client is entirely platonic? I object, Your Honor! To yourself? Yeah. But I would like to... Rephrase the question. Uh. Mr. Falk, would I be accurate if I described your relationship with Mrs. Cole as totally professional? I object, Your Honor, and I move to strike! Mr. Reed, I don't know what you're on, but you better get to the point and quick. Is your relationship with my client entirely platonic? Not! Is not your relationship with my client, boink! Bad baby, bad baby. Did you ever not make love? Did you? <gasps> Mr. Reed. You had sex with her every time you met, didn't you? Didn't you? Liar! He's badgering the witness. It's his witness. You slammed her, you dumped her donut, you gave her dog a sausage, you stuffed her like a Thanksgiving turkey. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, it's true, okay? I humped your brains out. There, now you happy? No further questions. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. In the place with that look on my face, oh shit. Lift his hand, ready to rip. He got the oh hell no. Dear Hitch, you got a problem with that? Please, I'm desperate. Even I can't help you, and I found Star Jones a husband.
Oh, shit. Come on in. Thanks for seeing me. I heard you're the best. You got damn right I'm the best. Look at all the couples I'm responsible for. You got Brad and Jen, Jessica and Nick, Ben and Gwen, Ben and Jen, Ben and Jen, Ben and Matt, Whitney and Bobby, Kobe and Shaq, Ellen and Ann. Yeah, I do them too. Well, there's this guy at the diner where I work. We had this moment. What happened? I turned around and he was gone. He probably got a good look at your mug and ran. Why don't we broaden the search from that one guy to just any nigga? Okay. Eight out of ten guys believe the first kiss will tell them everything they need to know about a relationship. So before we get started, let's see what you got. We got it together, didn't we? Ooh, stinky, you got the dragon. Ugh. I mean, really, when you really sit and think about it, it's really, really nice. You got a little something in there. I can easily feel myself slipping, slipping more and more away. That super world of my own. A whole wing? Extra crispy? God damn! We've got it together, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs>